What's up guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in today's video, I'm just going to walk you through where I'm at on the progression for this new fusion, Nishak, Vermin Lord, the Rat King. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, we're going to go to tournaments and just showcase to you where I'm at in the tournaments. Hopefully you guys are doing well in the tournaments if you're even going for this guy. I know a lot of you probably aren't even going for this guy to begin with because he's such a big toll on your resources. You have to spend tons of resources to get this guy. So uh, yeah, I totally understand you not going for him. However, he's going to be beneficial to pretty much everybody out there that is early, mid and late game. Um, he's definitely going to be really, really good for farming Bommel if you want to try out crazy compositions like YST. Threw up a crazy 40 second run composition with this guy. And uh, he also paired well with uh, with Hell Hades. And he made an even faster comp. I think it was the 40 second comp. But, but yeah, so you can also do it. His first video that he made was in like 1 minute and 30 seconds or 2 minutes long. So I mean, anybody can pretty much, as long as you have ally attackers, can make a crazy composition against Bommel Floor 90. But, of course, he's also good for general progression. He's good on stage 20 of dungeons, especially Dragon and Ice Golem. Really, really good there. Um, he can be utilized in Fire Knight for the waves of 20, but I, I don't think he's going to be, like, super, super good. That's not his best area in Fire Knight, but he does have that triple hit on the A1, so that's can, that can be helpful. Also, he has the two AoE abilities, so he can be halfway decent against the waves. So you can consider using him as a decent damage dealer, but personally, I would go for all out regen set, uh, immortal set as well, or speed set with the regen set to make him do a solo farm for dragon and for ice golem if you need him. That's just my opinion. So just kind of showcase fire knight here. So I have been working on fire knight. I've been trying to go as hard as possible on fire knight. And honestly, I haven't been getting any good pieces from fire knight. I just get super unlucky there. Um, I don't have crazy gear from Fire Knight for Savage, and so I've been farming a lot of it. And I used a lot of gems too, but uh, I got the 4-star chicken, I got Risk Arm, I got everything here. I'm in 4th place right now. I'm going to farm a little bit more of Fire Knight overnight, but I just haven't been getting lucky with the gear. Classic Arena, everybody should be getting this. I always say this, you should have no problems with Classic Arena. Next up is Dragon Tournament using specific champions from the Nyreason Union. And of course, if I show you the Nyreason Union, you can see right here at the bottom, you're going to be using Dwarves, Shadowkin, and the new Sylvan Watchers. So that's going to be interesting. I do have, I don't have all of these champions. I've been feeding my Kate, and I have Nia, so she's going to be very, very powerful. And I also have Cormac. Cormac, not so great. Just attack one enemy, attack one enemy, and then increase accuracy and crit rate. He's okay. Honestly, he's more lean towards Iron Twins. Not the greatest champion in my opinion. Going on to events. Champion training. You guys should be pushing as hard as possible on champion training. We're two days in now. And I'm at just about 6100. I'm at 5809. So I'm getting close to that first risk harm. I have three more days left. Three days and nine hours. Or three days and seven hours for that matter. And I definitely want to push all the way to this risk harm. But if I can help it. I'm going to try to get to this ancient shard. And even further if I can do it. I just don't want to waste too much of my resources in doing so. Because if I use too many resources then I could hurt myself in the long run. But honestly I should be fine because in my previous video I pulled shards. And I pulled all the way to the epic and Dahlia. So I should be fine with being able to skip at least 4 events or tournaments. That involve just getting 1 risk harm from them. So I shouldn't have a problem with that at all. Artifact enhancement event. I did complete that just a little bit ago. I pushed a little bit further, got that ancient shard because I really wanted it. Now I could try to spend resources tonight and really laser focus on artifact enhancement. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I could do it, but again, I don't want to waste my gems to spend on more energy just for that. I want to use my gems, save my gems for the next fusion or save as much gems as possible while I'm going for this fusion for future reference. So there are the events, there's the tournaments, that's where I'm at. We've got clan vs clan in 6 hours, about actually call it 7 hours. And you should be trying to save up your resources for clan vs clan. Now I did spend all my uh, shards for the past summon rush that we just had. And I typically don't pull shards for the clan vs clan, that's just me. 
I typically run a lot of tag team arena. I run a lot of arena. I run a lot of dungeons. I upgrade champions, things like that. I put books into champions. I upgrade my great hall here as well. Uh, and I just keep going. So right now I have 1600 gold medals. So typically I can upgrade two of the great hall bonuses every two weeks, depending on where they're at. So if I wanted to, I could upgrade one from four to five, two, three, four, that'll be a thousand points five that'll be 1250 and then this one five to six is 300 so i could actually do six upgrades of the great hall if i wanted to tomorrow which would be pretty fantastic or i could try to push to 1900 gold medals and then i could end up getting this from 900 and then the final level is a thousand i could get 1900 gold medals by tomorrow or tomorrow then i could end up getting the resistance all complete. So then I'll have three rows completed, accuracy, resistance, and crit damage. And then I'll be focusing on my defense next and my HP. So mainly I'm gonna be focusing on HP first. That's more like PVP, or sorry, PVE. And defense is probably gonna be more PVP. So we'll see what happens. Attack, I'm gonna focus on last, to be honest with you. It's good for your nukers, of course, but honestly, this is the least important one out of the entire bunch because you can get attack so easy on damage dealers that are based on attack in this game. So there you go, that's my great haul. Again, that's where I'm at right now. You should be trying to save up some silver now. You should be focusing on getting more silver for the next artifact enhancement event. Make sure you're farming your, your your dungeons as much as possible. If you've completed the Fire Knight and you wanna farm just silver, I suggest going into Spider's Den, try to farm as much silver as possible, save up your silver for the next events and tournaments. So that way you're good to go. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. If you've watched this long, consider subscribing on your way out and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.